What the f- Okay guys, you're here for one reason. Either you or your drone has seriously messed up at some point and your video, your recording of your awesome drone footage has become corrupt. Okay, so picture the scene. You've just gone out for the afternoon, okay? And you've seen something super rare. You've sent the drone out to capture it. You had an absolutely awesome drone flight, a super dangerous drone flight. Now you shouldn't be doing that because the CAA are always watching. Hi guys, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you, if you watch. I know you watch my videos. You've come home, you've thrown your video clip into Adobe Premiere Pro, and then that happens, okay? And what's happened here is, in my experience anyway, what's happened here is you've still had the drone recording when you've shut it off at the very end of your flight. And of course that file just, just that's it, just falls into an oblivion, into an abyss. I'm gonna show you how to recover that file. So if this ever happens to you, or maybe it's, it's happened already and that's why you're here, we can get this sorted out and you can get on your way editing your footage again. So what you gotta do right now is go ahead and open Safari. Okay, so since Safari isn't going to work for me today, we're going to go ahead and open Chrome. Why are we using Safari anyway? Nobody uses Safari. Type in DJI fix.live555.com. Okay, and this is the website you need. This has got the utility that we're going to use. And it's going to do a lot of the heavy lifting to try and recover our, our file. Okay. There's some instructions here, and um, this is for Mac OS, put in the title there. And there is a fix for Windows, which is, I assume, is a very similar process. It involves a command line utility as well. So go ahead and download that DJI fix file. Okay, and as per the instructions on here, I'm also going to use the same folders and directories. So we're going to go and put this into our movies directory. And it's there with the damaged and corrupt drone video file these files are stamped in order they're created so this is 0898 so to make things a little bit simpler we're just going to call it video one as per the instructions here we have to run this terminal command here okay so super quick way to open terminal tell space start typing terminal boom there we go there she is terminal window Okay, so next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna go and change the directory to the movies folder. So CD movies, that takes us to our movie directory. I mean, you can copy and paste this. So chmod space plus x space DJI fix. Okay, and then in the next part is dot slash DJI fix. And then it's the name of the video. Now we call that video one just to make things a hell of a lot easier for us. And you ain't got numbers flying all over the place. There's video one.mp4 return. Okay, so you should get a message there that's saying that the file's been repaired. It's pretty straightforward stuff. So the file that this is recovering is a, it's a flight we did around an empty reservoir. Now it wasn't the best flight in the world, but the, the footage was kind of, it was kind of, it was one off, you know, they don't empty the reservoir often. And I thought, you know, if I ain't got this file, there's not going to be anything interesting to finish the vlog off with, but I'll link that below. That's exploring the drained reservoir in the Isle of Man. It was a pretty cool afternoon. So this can take quite a while, depending on how big the file is. I think this this one I've got here is about three or four gig. So if you just wait patiently for that to finish, um, and then I'll take you on to the next step. Okay, guys, so now you can see from the window, this video has been repaired, and it's been placed in the same directory as the original file. So if we check in our movies directory, we have it here, video-1repair.h264. The only problem with this is it's been converted now from an MP4 to a H264 raw format that it was originally filmed in. And now we've got to go and convert that back to an MP4 so Premiere Pro can understand what it's doing with it. So even if you made an attempt to go in, let's just try it now. Let's try and import it in there. And we have there, it's, it, it can't see it. It's basically, it's just a no-go doesn't know what to do with the file. You can't even drag and drop it in. It's just, it's a dead end until we've converted it. So there's nothing we can do with that. There we are, file format, not supported. Couldn't say it cleared than that really. Right, so what we've got to do is, we've got to now download a program called FMPEG. Okay, now it's already on my machine, but I'm gonna show you the process of how to download it. And then also the commands involved to convert the file back and forth from a H.264 to an MP4 file. So, hang in there guys, I know this sounds pretty daunting, but this is actually quite a simple process, okay? So, follow my lead. Okay guys, so what you wanna do next is you wanna open up a new tab. Keep the old tab open, because there's gonna be a command in there I need to show you in a bit. So if you open up a new tab, and type in macappstore.org forward slash FF 
M-P-E-G. On this website is the command line you're gonna to need to type in, or copy and paste, much easier, um, into your terminal window, which will download the files needed to do the conversion, okay? Just open up a new terminal window, just to keep things nice and tidy. Okay, so we wanna run this command here. It's a simple copy and paste process. Propeller C, Command C, I'm old school. <laughs> Get over it. <laughs> So we want to paste that in there and what that's going to do is it's going to go down over the web and download this this software it's going to install it all behind the scenes so you basically don't have to do a damn thing okay so we're going to run that that's going to go off and download the necessary files go make yourself a cup of coffee and uh, head on back in a second a few moments later okay guys we're almost there those files are finished downloading now so we're literally just two commands away from getting you a beautiful drone footage back in working order once again so Type in brew install FFMPEG and this will begin the install process for the decoding software that we're going to use to do the conversion. Boom, away we go. Okay, so once that's installed, you want to go back to your other tab and scroll down the, uh, the page from where we started on the DJI Fix website. Okay, so for this new command window, so what we're going to do now is change directory to movies. That's where we, we want to be. Okay, and we renamed our video, if you remember, to video one, just to make things nice and easy. So with that software now installed, you want to type FFMPEG. Okay, dash I, and then our, our video file is video one dash repaired dot H264. Okay dash c copy so at this point you can rename the file if you want i think just to be consistent just to keep it the same name so you're not confusing matters and um, so video one dash repaired dot mp4 remember it's mpeg4 we need for premiere pro to be able to understand and to be able to work with the file okay so fire that off hit return that there guy should uh, process the video convert to mp4 and then you can drop that then into premiere pro okay so we're finished Right, so head on back to Premiere Pro and we want to import our video file and we've just converted. So here it is. This is the uh, this is the file here, MP4, as you can see. It can understand and read this file. Boom, there we are. She is recovered, she is working. We are back in business, guys. Okay, so that was um, that was kind of a one-off special for me. So in the future, I'm hoping to bring you a few more of these tutorials, these simple steps. I know they can help help massively. I mean, I wish there was a video out here that simply explained this for me when I was having trouble uh, recovering this file. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and tune in in the future for another episode of these delicious tech tips. And I will see you next time, guys. Peace. That's right, I knew what you were thinking. Yes, they are real. If only we could stay on all the time like that. No, they don't, unfortunately.